What's up guys? Today we finished the practice quad. There she is. We finally got the last of our particle parts. You can see I did one heel guard right there. This one we ran into a little bit of problem. We need to clean this out with a tap. The only problem with that was that one, the pitch and the size was the only one I did not have. I have every other 12 millimeter one but that one so if you guys need that one i got these on amazon 12 by 1.25 i believe it is if you guys can see i don't know if you can see that no but that's the one so if you guys need healy coils a tap 12 by 1.25 so we definitely don't want to ruin this frame this was a used frame so maybe when it was getting disassembled there's a little uh debris in there maybe even a little bit of powder coating but i kind of doubt that so we're going to clean it out hopefully it's good and then we can finish this side so let's get to work guys We put some grease on it. We're just gonna run this through. Hopefully, clean it out. You gotta be careful with these once they start to bind up. You can snap these off. I've done it, so you guys seen me fix them before. They're easy to fix, but obviously we don't want to dismantle this whole friggin' frame for that. So this already feels really good. Just running this through. We're just binding up enough with with the actual bolt. I just stopped before I got in trouble. So the other side was fine. The other side went in no issues. I think this one just needs to be cleaned out. We'll see if uh, when we pull it out, if, what kind of debris is on there. If it's just a little bit of metal, or I highly doubt powder coating is way in there. But you never know. Heard these do such a great job. Uh, blocking off all the holes and this one is set way in it's not like this side where the threads are right there this one the threads start inside here in the middle section so i mean he would literally have to take the gun and shoot it right in there so, yeah, definitely a little bit of metal in there guys definitely some metal in there you can see right there so it may have just been from when this was getting dismantled well it just didn't get cleaned out I did put a little grease on these things, so I don't know if it'll help or not. We'll see, just so these things can be a pain. Sometimes they don't want to come out. They don't want to go in, so at least this won't uh, it'll make it easy to get out at least. Heel guard on, that shouldn't be too bad, should be able to pop that right in place. Now we'll get this heel guard on guys. One bolt at the top and then we got these two long bolts to just go through the foot peg. You know, guys, these are old bolts. It's the practice quad, but we may, we're gonna take a little trip to the hardware store and I'll see if, um, if I can get some new ones. Oh, these are fine, it's the practice quad. I actually have a new set of RJR heel guards coming in. Um, they're his newest model. I'll have to check those out. They look pretty cool. It's a whole different foot peg design. I guess it's a machine foot peg, so we're gonna try those out, see how they are. They'll probably go on this squad for us because they are black, so. One here. And then we just 
got to go around back. Started and just sliding these through first, and then we'll bring them up through. These are the poly nets I got from Adam Walker. I've been running these for a while. I made a video on these last year. If you guys want to check that out, maybe I'll leave a link in the description. You guys can check it out. But these things are solid. They they'll last you a long time versus you know the cloth nets. These are pretty sweet. They do take a ride or two to kind of form into place. You can see how they like spring them back on me, but they'll be all right after a ride or two. It is cool in here also, guys. It's only about 60 in my garage, so. But once you ride them a couple times, they will form and they'll be fine. But these things are sweet. So we are hoping to ride this weekend. It's gonna be mild all week with rain it should knock down the snow we have a ton of snow right now especially our riding spot i know you guys have been asking um, but now we're ready to go we just need the snow hopefully this weekend the snow is is good it's it was about a foot of snow we had left on the trails which even with studded tires we're not going to make it very far so we figured we'll try again this week see if uh that snow total is about, it should be cut in half, which five or six inches shouldn't be too bad. We can stud up and we should be fine. If it's less than that, then we can just run our normal tires. But we're gonna try, hopefully, bring you guys some riding content. I know you've been asking. I've been dying to ride. I'm really definitely, definitely dying to ride now, guys. So there's no excuses now. We just gotta wait till Mother Nature wants to uh, help us out a little bit. So. That's pretty good. Like I said, guys, these will mold into place. Once I ride on them a couple times, it will be fine. So don't worry about that. They just look, they're like a little uh, springy right now, but once you get a ride on them, they will be fine. Not a problem at all. Tighten these up a little more. Beautiful. All right, let's get the other side done. Alright, here we are on the other side. We will have some new graphics coming guys. For now, these will be the practice setup. I actually have some new plastics for this quad. So once I get them, I'll throw some new graphics on them. It will be the updated Niowa number, number three, we'll be running this year. She will be good to go out to uh, just pump all the grease fittings up on the A-arms, the linkage, the pivot bolt. We already did the stem clamp. I did that before I put the tank on, but we got to grease all the other points, the A-arms and all that stuff, get it ready. And I think we are good to go for our first ride. We did have this under the fender graphics piece fall off. Luckily, we got a freaking spare. So we'll just pop this on because we want to look good. We want to match the front.
All right, guys, that's a wrap on the practice quad. Let me know what you guys think. She is good to go, finally. I know it took a while. It took a while, but finally, we have one completed quad, finally. Like I said, guys, if the weather cooperates, we're gonna try to put a ride in this weekend, so that'll be a good video. I know you guys are all dying to see a riding video. I'm dying to get out there, so fingers crossed, fingers crossed. We're gonna get some warm temps the next few days. A little bit of rain should knock that snow down pretty good, so I'm hoping this weekend we're gonna get out for a ride. Well, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Let me know what you think. Drop me some comments. Give me a thumbs up on this one, guys, and Thanks for watching as always. We will see you on the next one, right? Peace.